describe him feels pretty good. And I, I had an okay week last week leading up to here, so yeah, just kind of rolling with it right now. And what's the strength of what, what was the strength of the game today? Just all over everything? Or? Um yeah, I had a lot of birdie chances, so I guess yeah, I think I hit maybe Fifteen grains, so that helps. Um, but I had a couple of tap ins too for birdie. So I mean, there there are low numbers to be had out there. There's a lot of lot of birdie opportunities, and I was just fortunate. I had I got off to a good start and just kept the momentum going. And I was saying, the husband arrives tomorrow. Is this is good for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure he'll want to see it happen again tomorrow. So um, yeah, he's he's on the plane right now, I think. But I hope um, he's on the big one from Dallas to Sydney, so it'll be a nice 14, 15 hour flight. He'll be a bit tired in the morning, but I'm sure he'll be happy to get out and wash him off in the afternoon. He's not going to carry your bag at all this week? No, not this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, questions please. Yes, sir. Uh, Kathy, you mentioned the word momentum. This is two weeks, two visits to the press center. That suggests that things are moving in the right direction. How are you feeling within your own game? You said you played four weeks in a row. I guess that picture something. But how are you feeling about your game from here to something? Um, I mean, I guess lately I've probably struggled to put four good rounds together, so that's going to be obviously the key this week is to get the next three under par. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm hitting it well. I just got to give myself more chances and just stay patient because I mean, the birdies are out there. You just got to, like I said, keep giving yourself chances. You said you're the 12th oldest player on the LPGA Tour now. That says experience. Is that of any value in a week like this and having shot around like today? And um, yeah, I mean, I think experience is definitely always a, a good thing. Um, I, I see it, especially when I play with younger players, and I mean, you see the mistakes they make, and you're like, oh gosh, I made those too. But um, yeah, no, I'm, hopefully the experience pays off. Um, I mean, we still, we're still human, we still make mistakes, but certainly um, having been out here for, gosh, 13, 13 years now, I think, um, I kind of I kind of know the ropes, so still learning that. It's not, not as much as it was in the rookie year. Are you comfortable with this position? Uh, yeah, I, I love being up on the leaderboard. and I mean, it's only day one, so um, yeah, the goal is to keep going tomorrow and we hopefully put a good weekend together. But um, I mean, we've got so many good players here that anything's possible. And I wouldn't be surprised if a girl went out there this afternoon and shot eight or nine under. So um, yeah, happy with the position and just got to keep going. Catherine, have you ever felt the opportunity to win the national championship has ever slipped your by? Sorry, say again? Do you feel like, have you ever felt like the opportunity to win this tournament has slipped you by? Um, I think my best finish might have been T8 back in 2013, so... Oh, okay, there we go. Um, I had you T4 in 2010 at Commonwealth. Oh, in Commonwealth? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Um, I guess when you're as old as I am, you kind of forget. <laughs> um, I, you know what, I think I played pretty well at Royal Melbourne, maybe in 2015, but had a bad last round. So, um, I don't know if I had a chance to win it, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, it's a good thing I forget the bad stuff, right? But, um, I, maybe, I don't know. I'd have to look at scores and kind of reevaluate. But, um, I've, I've always dreamed of winning at Aussie Open, so... It'd be nice to do it this week for sure. What would it mean to you? I think it'd be my my best win ever, really. Um, I mean, as a kid, you dream about winning your own national championship. So I've, I've won a Canadian Open. That I mean, that felt pretty good. But being Aussie, being at home in front of my my family, obviously Tom will come down. I'll be like, I'll probably be bawling my eyes out. So um, yeah, just just excited for the opportunity. Catherine, just in the broader sense, where's your career at and your game at the moment? Because I'm not sure what your status is. I think you had know, the 10th or something last year. Yeah, You've got full status um, still. Yeah. Close. I, won't, I'll, I should get in most events, but um, the majors I'll still have to qualify for. So, so where do you um, feel you're, you're at? Where's your game and your career? I still feel like my best goal's ahead of me. i just got to work a little harder. Um, I mean, I, my ball striking is probably the best it's ever been. Um, I just got to get my short game back to where it was in, in previous years. So it's not not quite where I want it to be, but um, I, can, I mean I can get around with it. Awesome.
Jeff Overby always talks about the men's Australian Open being the fifth most important tournament of the Australian Is it the same for the Australian Open? Six most guys guess now there's five majors. Is it the same for the Australian We know you've won the ladies' masters on here, but I think double that. Oh yeah, it'd be great. Um, I think considering the feel that we get to for this event, now that it's co-sanctioned with the LPGA, it would be just a little bit more special. So, um, I'm yeah, super, super proud that we have a national championship and that we get as good a feel as we get. And last one, just some thoughts on the course. Obviously, Mike, you just shot that thunder out there. I mean, I doubt you can tell me you don't like it. Some thoughts on the course of the test that it's provided for these players. Well, if you ask me to compare it to the range last year, I'd say I would have thought this course has been easier. It's a bit more generous off the tee um, and not as severe around the greens. Um, I mean, with that being said, you, you still have to position yourself well. Um, but I would, I would say you can certainly make more birdies out here and, and perhaps go a little bit more than, than what we did at the range. I'm just asking about your mindset when you get four birdies in the first five holes. Do you have to sort of reel it in or do you just keep going with the flow? Or how do you approach it at that stage? Um, for me, it's just to keep telling myself you got to just keep giving yourself chances because I mean there's 18 holes and I mean if you get off to a hot start I mean there's been plenty of us that have kind of maybe squandered it or just stalled. So um, when you're when you're feeling good though, I mean you just try and make as many words as you can and that's that's all I did today.